Hello, welcome to Vigilant Online Workshop. This is Navin. I work as a cyber security analyst for Vigilant. So the topic under discussion is phishing. Now, phishing is a subcategory of a major category of attacks known as social engineering. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people into divulging confidential information that they normally wouldn't share, such as their credentials, bank account information, passwords, etc. by building a relationship of trust with the user and exploiting that trust phishing in particular is the way of attempting to acquire sensitive information by masquerading as a trustworthy entity in an electronic communication basically what we are going to do here is create a phishing page of the website and steal the information phishing page is nothing but a fake page or a replica of the actual page now let us see how phishing is done Before we begin with this attack there is a small prerequisite that you need to take care of you need to install a software called zamp which is provided to you in your toolkit zamp is a tool which enables your computer to host some web pages within your computer basically it gives your computer certain server capabilities open the zamp and start the apache server and mysql Now open the website of which you wish to create a phishing page. Let us consider Facebook for reference. Please do note I am using this website only for educational purposes. Now save the source code of this web page somewhere in your PC by the name index. go to your c drive zam stdocs and create a folder by the name facebook now take your index file and put that in the folder that you just created open your index file as you can see this is the source code of your web page look for the word action this here is the link that that you were supposed to be redirected to now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply put login.php now let us see what this login.php is save this and close first login.php is a piece of code that i have written in this basically all the user information the username and password that you type in the phishing page it is presented presented to you in the form of a text document this is the code for it and as soon as you manage to extract the information you are directed redirected to the original facebook Now these were the steps that you needed to follow. Go to your browser and type in localhost slash Facebook. You could have also written localhost slash zam slash htdocs slash Facebook, which is the actual path of the folder, but local host slash facebook will also do basically your zam just directly uh, redirects you to that particular folder so you need not have to mention the entire path
typing local host slash Facebook gave me my phishing page. Now this is the, this is the phishing page. As you can see, there are certain slight disturbances. You can just fix them. And one last thing that you need to do before presenting this page to someone is go to the URL and type HTTPS colon slash slash www.facebook.com which is the actual URL of Facebook. Now just simply present this page to your target and I assure you he won't be able to distinguish between this page, your phishing page and your original page. As you yourself can see there is hardly any difference. Now typing anything in this page, let us say I type something, I type in a username, I type in a password. And I try to log in. Now, as you can see, I, uh, it got redirected to the original Facebook. Now, this is my original Facebook. Oh. You can just simply tell the target that you might have entered the wrong password or something. Now go to that particular folder, as you can see there is now a text document by the name password. The code for this I have I had written in the login.php file. Open it, you have your email, your username and your password. That is how phishing is done. To secure yourself from this phishing attack, make sure that you check the URL thoroughly before entering your credentials. Like this was the phishing page and what I did was I simply changed the URL to this. But still, I, ma I, ma I had managed to replicate this particular section, but as, as you can see, this lock symbol cannot be replicated. So this is how you would differentiate a fa fake page from a real page. This is how you find a phishing page. Phishing pages can be also be sent through online. Uh, you might be getting this in your mails, uh, like there are certain mails in which you are supposed to enter your credentials, they ask for your credentials, they come from a legit account. So don't just uh, enter the details directly, check whether it's a phishing page or a real page and perform the actions accordingly. Thank you.